Let's see how to add text on a path using PaintShop Pro. You can add a text on various kinds of path, whether they are created with the pen tool or one of the shape tools. Let's draw a straight line at an angle. And if we want to add text on this path, we have to first make sure that the path object is active. Occasionally you will have the layer active like this and the path is not. You have to have the path active. Then you would select the text tool and let's put some color on the text. So I'll put a fill of pink and I will get my cursor on the path and you can see how the cursor for the text tool changes from the straight letter to an angled letter with a curve. So you click on it and you can add your text and you see that it will be following the path and you would accept it. This is one way. Let's undo this. You can also create your text separately. So you can add your text here. You accept it. And now you have two objects here inside of your vector layer. So if it's closed like this, you won't see it. You have to open and you select both objects. So the text object and the path by holding the control key. Then you can go to objects, fit text to path. And there it is. It will go on to the path. Let's delete this. Let's change to the free hand. I'm going to put a black outline and no fill because it could be distracting. And here is my path. Again, making sure that the path is active. I will now activate my text tool. There I can change and have a fill of pink and remove the outline. And in the same way, I can click on the path and adjust it. I clicked in the center and it's aligned to the left, so it's going to go to the right of the anchor point. If I want to change to center, I can change it this way and I could accept. In the same manner, let's undo this. I could have my text at the bottom. In the layers palette, I can make sure that I see my objects. Holding the control key, I select both objects, go to objects, fit text to path and here it is. So that is how I can do it with a path drawn with a pen tool. Let's undo this. How about now using in an ellipse? So I will make my outline in black and here is my ellipse. In the same way, making sure that the new ellipse or the other shape, it could be a rectangle too, making sure that the object is active. Now I will activate my text tool, change to have some color in the fill, otherwise it might not show much. And again, I can see how the cursor changes and I can click it and my text will follow. It will follow the path clockwise by default. So that is how I can add my text. Similarly, as I did before, I can add my text on top, for example. I'll accept it and in the layers palette, making sure that I can see my two objects, holding the control key, I select them both. I can go to object, 
fit text to path and here it is. One thing to notice, let's undo this and let's put our text at the bottom. What if I do the same thing? I go to objects, fit text to path and now it goes at the bottom. It goes in the wrong direction. If you wanted your text on top, simply put your text on top of your shape. If you wanted it at the bottom, you put it at the bottom. But this is probably not the way you want to have your text. Let's see how we can now add the text in reverse. Let's undo this. And I will add my text on the top area. And I'll accept. Now, if I want to add my text at the bottom, and I click at the bottom, you can see that it does not work. It still goes clockwise. Let's undo this. What I need to do is have a separate path to follow because I need to reverse the path. And I cannot reverse only part of the path. It's either everything is going to go clockwise or everything will go counterclockwise. So I will need to have a copy of my new ellipse. So what I'll do is right click on the vector layer and I'll duplicate it. So now I have the two ellipse and there's one layer. This one I will remove the this is the top. I'm going to remove that layer or I'm going to hide it. I can keep the path here intact. For now, I will just hide the whole layer at the bottom. So the only ellipse that I see is the one from the top. If I want to have some text, I, as I said, I need to reverse the path. The first step will be to activate the pen tool. And right clicking on that ellipse, I have here convert to path. Although it is an actual path when I was using the text tool earlier, I need to convert it to path in order to reverse the path. It's kind of silly, but that's the way it works. So I convert it. Now I can right click and under edit, now I can reverse the path. Now let's go back to our text tool. I'll put some color and I'll go at the bottom. This is the bottom. And you see how now the text is going to go counterclockwise. And I can accept it. Now let's unhide the bottom group here. So we have part of the text on top, part of the text at the bottom. Now I don't really need the two ellipse. I can hide them. I can hide this one and I can hide this one. One thing you cannot do is remove it. If you delete your ellipse, your text will go back to be straight. So that is how you can add your text on the top and on the bottom. The step to convert to path will be necessary in some situations and not in others. So as you saw, when we drew the path with the pen tool, we did not need that. So we could have reversed the path without having to convert it. It is already a path. And we have also the rectangle tool that will require you to convert the, to path before reversing it. Let's hide these and illustrate this. So when you have the rectangle, I'll just activate the raster layer. Here is my vector object 
So making sure my object is active. If I right click, I'll need to convert to path. If I could not convert to path, this would be grayed. Let's undo this. What about a preset shape? I have this shape. Let's go to the pen tool. You see, convert to path is not active, so it means that I can already reverse the path if I need to. For symmetric shapes, let's undo it. If I right click, again I have to convert to path that is needed if I ever want to reverse it. So there you go. That is how you can add text on a path clockwise or counterclockwise. Have fun!